This is Will Cowing for Adapted Chicago Productions. We have a very interesting guest with us today. His name is Mitsutoshi Oyabu. Can you say it? Oyab Oyabu? Oyabu, yes, that's right. Oyabu san. Yeah, hi. Hi. Watashi wa skoshi nihongo dikimasu. I speak a little Japanese, but I've forgotten most of it. But it's still, I was, I've been in Japan several times, and it's a beautiful country. I'm not to know Kuni wa Kyoto desu, ne? So this, yes. So That's he's right. come from Kyoto, which is one of the most beautiful cities in Japan. Mm -hmm. But we're here to talk about disabilities. All right, now, uh, there's a lot of things that, how is Japan's approach to disability different from the United States? Mm -hmm. I think Japan has a more concrete, welfare system compared with the U.S. They have universal medical insurance system in hey, Japan. Oh, what? Oh, medical insurance, universal medical insurance oh, system. Oh, universal medical insurance system. Yeah. We need that. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is single payer? Yeah, th something like that. Ah, so, I saw. Uh -huh. So that's one of the things. I think Japan uh, is also highly developed countries in the disability, yeah, regarding disability programs. Okay, now you have something very interesting for the blind. Mm -hmm. uh, now I'm, we're going to show some pictures of yellow, big yellow markers that are painted on pavement. And people are going to look at that and say, I don't know what that is. Now I'm going to read that. This is called tactile paving. And it's also called truncated domes. Now a blind person walking on that, it gives out detectable warnings. Tactile is the feeling, the hand, ground surface indicators, or detectable warning surfaces. Now let's just see how important this is. This is a system of textured ground surface indicators found on footpaths, stairs, and train station platforms to assist pedestrians who are visually impaired. In other words, instead of carrying a white cane around and just sort of feeling around with the white cane, the surface you're walking on gives off signals on what uh, you're walking on. Tactile warnings provide a distinctive surface pattern of truncated domes, cones, or bars detectable by long canes or underfoot, which are used to alert the visually impaired of approaching streets and hazardous surface. So when they walk on this, they know what's coming up. It signals them. This is, oh wow, we don't do anything like that. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a disagreement on design and user community as to whether Installing this inside buildings may cause a tripping hazard. So they got, they're miles ahead of us on this. This yeah. is very interesting, won't you write? Mm -hmm. uh, all right, now you went to school in Japan, eh? Okay, yeah. now how, how, how were you treated as a disabled child when you went to, when you went to school? Uh, when you, uh, yeah, actually I went to special needs school for disabled children. So that's why I didn't feel any uh, problems, yeah, in that school. Yeah, and act, yeah, it, it is a fact that uh, in my generation, most people were forced to uh, be in special needs school for so children. You didn't have any choice, no? No, we, we didn't have choice, but now, yeah, many people with disabilities can go to ordinary school or something. Yeah. Ordinary schools now. Yeah, so. There's a term we use, mainstreaming. Mm hmm Mainstream, yeah. Yeah, now we can choose whichever you want. Oh, very yeah. good. So that Japan has made progress in this area. I think so, but, but yeah, of course, it's not true. Ah, so how can I say? But there are some cases that the ordinary school rejects to accept people with disabilities. So or there are ordinary schools that reject people with disabilities? Yes, yeah, sometimes. Sometimes that happens. 
Now, you said there's a law that's been passed that is similar to the ADA in mm -hmm. the United States. Mm -hmm. And when was this? Yeah, it was passed last year. And uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty much like ADA. So I think uh, the law will help Japan to change the situation involving people with disabilities. Yeah, and uh, mm -hmm. oh, that's very interesting. So, in that sense, we're ahead of you with the ADA, mm -hmm. and it's sort of a mixture. Then it's yeah, we're ahead and it's behind in other areas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want to keep going back to some of these innovations. We're going to switch around a lot. Uh -huh. uh, now we have a picture of an elevator. Can we bring that up? Uh, and what mm -hmm. what is going on here in this elevator? This elevator has a you can see big mirror inside the elevator, and that helps wheelchair users uh, to back out of the elevator. Awesome. So, because, yeah, you, you don't have to turn around your head backward. Ah. Yeah, just keep looking forward, and you can back out of the elevator. Awesome, yeah. awesome. So, this, that's a brilliant idea. Uh-huh, yeah, and the most elevators in Japan have such uh, big mirrors. <laughs> so they have mirrors so that you can, if you're in a wheelchair mm -hmm. and facing out, not facing out, mm -hmm. facing in, mm -hmm. you can watch, look at the mirror and use that to back out. Yes, that's, that's right. Oh, wow, wow, that's very good, very mm -hmm. good. All right, a moisturizer show. <laughs> interesting, very interesting. Yeah. Now, in Japan, Japan is one of the easiest city countries to get around in without a car. Yeah, that's right. And, uh, well, it's the size of California, mm -hmm. but you have about 80 to 100 million now. Mm -hmm. yes. 100 million people. Mm -hmm. So everyone is very polite. Uh -huh. Not here. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, but now you want to go on a train, you want to take a bus, what happens? You show up at a bus stop. Yeah, a bus stop. Uh, in in Kyoto, where I live in now, uh, yeah, there are many non-state buses which can be accessed uh, by people with yes, disabilities. Sir. Yeah, especially for wheelchair users. But uh, there's a big difference compared with the CTA buses because uh, in Japan, drivers have to get out of the vehicles to set up a ramp. Ah, oh, so. Yeah. But in, in the U.S., especially, CDA buses have a automatic ramp, which, yeah, so it's very, very convenient and much faster to get on the buses. So do you use the buses in the United States now mm -hmm. and the, in Chicago? Yes, with I... the automatic ramp? Yes, yes. And you find that's a lot more convenient? Yeah, I think. I think so. And in Japan, the bus driver has to stop the bus, get the ramp out, yeah. help you up there, mm -hmm. then take the ramp y down. Yeah, that's right, that's right. So it takes much time, and the people are annoyed by... The people are annoyed. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. Ah, so what they say, baka des, dami yo, kobata ya. That's right. That's right. All right. Yeah. Japanese is a very polite language. People, there are very few bad words in it. Uh, but we can be angry, you know, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. That's so right. Desu ka, so that's so that's That's very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. uh, now you've been when you get on a bus. Do you you have any problem with people on the bus, or do you just do you just feel like a member of the uh, of the a regular bus rider now? Mm, yeah, but uh, I I feel like uh, yeah in Japan uh, compared with the U.S. in Japan uh, people look at me like a strange eye or something. So, yeah, some people look at me like such manner. So ah. I feel uh, the U.S. is yeah, more comfortable for me. More comfortable? Mm -hmm, yeah. I saw, I saw. Yeah. 
I'm a Buddhist, and you, you know, and mm -hmm. some people think that Buddhism is anti dis uh, disability in some ways. Mm, yeah. And yeah, you feel that way? Uh, yeah. Nowadays, I don't feel very much, but yeah, that's true that uh, Japanese Buddhist people think that disability is caused by uh, bad action that you committed before. In your previous life. Yeah, previous life or something. So, so yeah, I've, yeah. I've thought about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but you can do a lot of things in your previous life, and mm -hmm. maybe you'll be born in a bad family, an mm -hmm. unhappy family. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes it's better to be a happy f in a happy family mm -hmm. with a disability mm -hmm. than yeah. no disability in an unhappy family. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so that's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, did, uh, did our personal aids provided for you in Japan? Ah, uh, yes, I, I received like a. PAs. PA, yeah. Yes, in Japan. Yeah, I, uh, uh, last year I was I graduated from university, but uh, during my university years I lived by myself near the university. Yeah, but in an apartment. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I hired several PAs. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, so, so. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. So. Uh, what is your major? What did, what did you major in? I majored in English language. Ah, so? Uh, yes. Jozu, you didn't have to know Jozu. Jozu desu. I thought you know Nihongo Dami desu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know Japanese. You're no very Japanese. good. <laughs> You're very good. <laughs> Thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. <laughs> well, this has been very interesting. Do you have any last comments you want to add to us? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, yeah, but the reason why I came to the U.S. is because I want to uh, study or observe how people with disabilities live independently in the U.S. Ah. Yeah, because uh, many of my friends who have disabilities are forced to live in a nursing home or hospitals. So, yeah. My dream is to uh, get them out of such facilities. Is there a movement for this in Japan? Like yes. Adapt. Or ah, yes. Yeah. Yes, there is. Do you have demonstrations? Uh, no, no, I haven't been involved in such a movement in Japan yet. But yeah, th it's more active in the U.S. Mm -hmm. compared. Japan. Do you think well, we could use uh, Japan could use more active, mm -hmm. active? You know, like. Yeah, I think we should be more active in Japan too. Can you translate this into Japanese? It's a big expression. Nothing about us without us. Mm -hmm. How would you say that in Japanese? In Japanese, ah. Uh, Nothing about us okay. without us. Ah, uh, okay. Let me see.私たち抜きで抜きで抜きであ私たちの言葉ちょっとは、it's Advantages and disadvantages, I think. Yeah. So, is is there any movement to keep people out of nursing homes in Japan? Is there? Uh, yes. Some organizations conduct such uh, activities to uh, get them out of nursing homes. But yeah, like I said, it's more active in the U.S. So, so, what would happen if you had a protest and you blocked a street or something oh, in oh, Japan? In Japan, oh, but yeah, yeah. But I haven't been participated in such uh, activity, so I I'm not sure what will happen. Have you seen a, such a demonstration in Jap in the United States? Oh, uh, sorry. 
Have you seen a demonstration? Ah, yes. I joined ADAPT activity, uh, yeah, in Washington, D.C. Ah, so. Yes. And, yeah, I was overwhelmed by the power of people with disabilities. Mm. And some, yeah, some people got arrested by police. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, that was very, yeah, I, I was very impressed by such, a, by the you so. were really impressed by the power mm -hmm. of it. Good, yes, good, yes. good. So I have videotaped many, many such demonstrations. Uh huh. And we never, they never show up on TV. Oh, really? Yeah, finally. Just the other week, at demonstrations in Washington, they showed them in, on TV, mm -hmm. what we call mainstream. Okay. But uh, most of the time, we videotape, we run the show. Mm -hmm. And we show it on our show, mm -hmm. but you never see it in other, other words. If Kardashian uh -huh. comes to town, that's 15 minutes of her. Uh -huh. Big demonstration for disability. Uh, I see, I see. So, you know, there's work to do. <laughs> very good, very good. I'm glad you. In, so, empowerment is the word. Uh -huh. So, you, what is that in Japan, empowerment? Oh, in, in Japan, in Japanese. In Japanese, hi. Yeah. Empowerment, ah. Uh, it's a uh, keihatsu or something. Keihatsu? Keihatsu or something. Keihatsu. Yeah. Oh, so, oh, so, oh, ah. so, keihatsu. Yeah, yeah. Well, arigato gozaimasu. Thank I, you very much. Thank you very much. We have been a great guest. <laughs> thank you. So we hope please you will be a big leader in Japan <laughs> for the disability movement. I hope so. Oh. I will try my best. Oh, good, uh -huh. good. Eat us, eat us. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. So this is Will Cowan for Adaptive Chicago Productions. And we want to remember that the, the disability struggle still goes on. Right now in Congress, there's a bill they've got to amend the ADA. We we're going to have a guest on that that couldn't make it, so we're going to postpone that. But we're going to talk about that. They're going to make it much harder for disabled people to get changes in restaurants and things. So we don't want that bill passed. And everybody has to get together in the, in the struggle. It's important, so we need your help. Let's keep the struggle going. And then we'll have a more interesting shows and see so how uh, Japan is ahead of us, or we're ahead of them, and down some other countries. The disability movement must go on for the whole world. So thank you, and we'll see you again.